What if I told you that the same idea that protects your WhatsApp signal or Telegram messages protected ancient armies thousands of years ago? Let's take it back. In ancient Greece, long before phones, apps, or computers, Spartan commanders had a real problem. They needed a way to send war plans across long distances without getting intercepted. So they created something called a Cytil. I know, it's the same device you've seen in Dune. It was a simple wooden rod, which they wrapped a piece of leather around and wrote the message across the spiral. They would then unwrap it and send it off. To everyone else, the message seemed like scrambled nonsense. But on the other side, the receiver would have to wrap that letter around the same and exact piece of rod to get the real message. That was the first forms of encryption. A hidden pattern, a secret message, and a message only intended to be read by the recipient. And hundreds of years later, the Romans created their own version. Julius Caesar created what we now call the Caesar cipher. He shifted every letter in the alphabet by a fixed number in the message. So for example, let's say he chose three. A became D and B became E. So a word like dog spelled D-O-G would become G-R-J. And the only way you could read the message is if you knew the exact number of shift. That was the key. And that was encryption as well. Fast forward to World War II, the Germans used a machine called the Enigma, which scrambled messages through rotating wheels and electric circuits. The Allies spent years trying to break it until Alan Turing and his team finally made a breakthrough. Now let's jump back to today. You're not sending world plans, but you're sending text messages and sharing photos with friends and family. And the threat is still the same. Modern encryption no longer uses wooden rods or leather. It uses complex mathematics and deals with large prime numbers that would take some computers thousands and thousands of years to break. The apps you use today, like WhatsApp, Signal, or Telegram, all uses this technology that we call encryption. And if someone were to intercept those messages, all they would get is scrambled messages. Encryption is not just technology, it's a tradition. From Greece to Rome to the Enigma to the phone you hold in your hand today, the mission has always been the same. Protect the message, protect the sender, and protect the receiver. For more stories like this, hit like, share, and subscribe.